Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody's doing good. Today, we are joined by global superstar Katy Perry, her sister, and RK, both co-founders of the amazing Firework Foundation. How y'all ladies doing today? Good. How are you? <laughs> doing good. Doing good. I'm excited to have y'all, and thank y'all again for also cutting out time out of y'all's busy schedules to do this, so I really appreciate it. Listen, we just wrapped up our first pickleball tournament in Santa Barbara. It was a success. I won the game over Orlando. It was really fun, um, but we raised money for the Firework Foundation in our hometown, and we just feel so proud. We are a little sweaty over here. Um, we smell, so you can't smell us, but um, we're proud, and we just had a great event for our Firework Foundation. Awesome. Actually, and I want to before we actually jump into what the Firework Foundation is, I would love to kind of know what can you tell me some more about about the event too, like and just like the impact and just how how it all was to experience that being fresh out of it too. Yeah, we um well our mom told us about pickleball years ago and we started playing it and we actually play with my family every Sunday. It's kind of our Sunday family thing every Sunday at 3.30. And so we thought to ourselves, why not throw a pickleball tournament instead of like a dinner? And we have done dinners before and things like that, but um, let's raise money through throwing a tournament. So we had 16 teams. We had some celebrities out there. We had some real notable people come out. Um, people gave, there was all kinds of really fun sponsors. We had some pros, like literally top 10 pickleball players wow. in the world came out and we played all kinds of games with them. It was a success. We are so proud. It was super fun. Yeah, so fun. And it was a it was a big community effort. You know, we wanted to introduce ourselves to our hometown and our community and, you know, tell them about the foundation and the work that we've been doing the last five years. And I think this is a great intro because pickleball is huge up here. I mean, all over, the, all over America, obviously, but especially here in Santa Barbara County. That's right. It definitely, yeah. mom was ahead of the curve two years ago. She was ahead yeah. The trend. She sure was. She was. Gotta give it to her. <laughs> That's awesome how you can turn that moment into a, a, a bring everybody together for a moment that you know could have such a, an, a long lasting impact going forward and stuff like that, and still have fun and enjoyment and those kind of things. So that's super awesome. Um, I actually want to jump into uh the building and how the foundation came together. Uh, I know for you, Katie, you know you, people know you had a long lustrous career from you know, fashion and music. Um. I think I actually want to start with this, Katie. How, how did it? How does it feel to know that your career has allowed you to kind of open up these doors and really, you know, have much more, have an even stronger impact going forward in your future and continue doing those kind of things? Um, well, you know, I mean, <clears throat> I think this is what I hope um, is my legacy that lives on beyond me. You know, when people are no longer familiar with my name. They are still familiar with, with the work of Firework Foundation and uh, young kids' lives have been impacted by it. Look, I get a lot of uh, shine, opportunity, resources, and I need to use that to pay it forward because it happened with me. Someone bought me a guitar. Someone mentored me when I was 13. And I believe that the kids that we get to look after who are in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade middle schoolers they're really at the crossroads of life and emotional crossroads, whether, you know, they're like, their confidence may be waning. They may be um, dealing with uh, depression, anxiety. They may uh, have, you know, so much going on and they need, they need to find their spark. So we, um, we throw a camp every summer and we've thrown six camps in four years. We've got to serve um, over 500 kids, um, and we have programming all year long. It's arts-based programming. But when they get to come to camp um, through Boys and Girls Clubs, which is amazing and has been around for over 100 years, um, when they get to come to camp, they learn how to write a song, do choreography, and make some merch. Like, for instance, we made these shoes, which these are our um, word pillars. pillars and our pillar colors. Obviously, it spells out firework. We've got fearless, inspire, reflect, experience, wellness, openness, role model, and kindness. And um, three campers a few years ago made these shoes. We got to give them away today, um, which was awesome. But it's so fun. I'm there at the camp every single time. And I stay. I don't just like say, hi, I'm Katy Perry. I'm like there when they arrive. And I'm with, I'm with 
with them in those moments uh, for the whole time that the, they're there. And it's so important to me that they feel seen, you know, and they, they do discover their spark. They do discover their own independence and freedom and camp. I think for a lot of us that got the opportunity to go, it really shaped who we are during that time, right? So, yeah, absolutely. I think it does so much. And like you said, especially for kids at that age, yeah, where they're still impressionable, which is why we focus on the middle school age. We do now have a program called LITs, which is Leaders in Training, which is for our high schoolers. So after they've come to camp at least once as a middle schooler and they show leadership qualities, they're invited back as an LIT. Um, to be, you know, young leaders and mentors for the campers and to hopefully grow into even, you know, bigger leaders in their communities and their families and their schools and that type of thing. So and in the in the near future, we are going to be helping some of them because we're we started in 2018. Our first camp was 2019. So we're just in our infancy a little bit, but uh, some of and our COVID. campers and COVID, some of our campers have um, graduated from Camp Firework. And now as they are LITs, they're saying, we want to go to art colleges. We're going to help them through that process. We're going to get them uh, some scholarships um, and we're going to make sure that they feel supported all along the way. There's so, almost so much, so much to unpack there because there's so much work being done. And I, I think it's it speaks to, like you said, I, I think the legacy piece, I want to rewind a little bit. The legacy piece, I think, is really important to understand that, you know, yes, this is like what we've built, but this is the, these are the things that live on the music. These are the things that live belong, the media and things like that. I love that that's the mindset um, going forward with that, with Firework Foundation. It's your career and your legacy as well. Um, I love the fact, like the work that you're doing and the kids you're touching. You talked about sixth, seventh, eighth grade, those most impressionable times. You know, I know that, like a scientific fact, when we're born, you know, we're learning all these things and we hit space for like, we're, in a different mindset, but we always come back to that set around sixth, seventh, eighth grade where we're learning and soaking everything up and super impressionable. So yeah. to be able to experience you know, things is so important. And I, I love that it's based into the arts too. I think that that yeah. level of expression of the shoe, like there's so much expression, livelihood, there's a story within that design. So I, I love that those kind of things can come together and you know, the Firework Foundation allows that opportunity. Um, and I also, one more thing, I want to also speak to the fact that y'all are doing it together system yeah. you know, i think that's super special you know i think everybody thinks about going into business part but the fact that y'all two are doing it together showing the sibling relationship showing the impact what happens when people can come together and really make a difference i, I love everything that um the power foundation and y'all's work speaks to so i want to say thank y'all for that most uh, most importantly let me just tell you Devin, that she holds my feet to the fire because you know she's she's been around and and she's seen you know all of it and family is family and they're you know they're not phased and so mm -hmm. she does hold me accountable holds my feet to the fire and it's really important for us I think I was saying earlier that like we know that there are so many ways to give back and for us I believe that change starts a with you b then your family and friends and then your community like if if you ain't healed you can't be the healer you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so like, I think that there's so much work to be done in everybody's own communities. Do you know your neighbors? Like mm -hmm. it's as plain and simple as that. So reaching out to your community, your county, your town. I mean, we're, we're, we serve a lot of California with our camp and our foundation. We're opening, back, opening up to the Santa Barbara County, which is fantastic next year. Um, but there's such a need. I mean, it's like, it's right out front of your door. I think people forget that, like so much good work being done in the world, you know, and people are going all over the world, but just right outside, outside of your door, people need change. 100%. That is very, very true. I love that you spoke to that. Um, and speaking of this change and the impact, um, you know, I know you said it started around 2018, 2019, but even within that short time span, a lot of lives have been affected and changed. I would love for you kind of both to speak individually to your most memorable moments with the foundation and like seeing an impact, like directly seeing kind of change somebody's life or seeing that, that spark happening from the firework foundation moment. Um, I think one camper comes to mind, Brooklyn, um, who's been with us from the beginning. She and Micah. And Micah. Yeah. Brooklyn started with us in 2019. 
she came in to camp and, um, you know, was really kind of shy and kind of unaware and not really sure what was going on and who we were and what was going on and what was camp firework. And also the kids come to camp and they're not allowed to bring any screens or devices. So they're, you know, they're basically like just there. They have to be present. They have to connect with themselves, with their, you know. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know that she's going to be there, <laughs> which is a fun surprise. Um, but Brooklyn came in and, you know, she at first was a little bit, you know, resistant to some of the activities, but then she finally warmed up, she got into it. And then on the last day, we do something called Ignite, which is kind of like a moment where we all, you know, reflect around the campfire, yeah. around the campfire and before we all leave and go home, um, we sit around and reflect and, and, you know, there's a couple campers, key campers that come up and speak. Um, and she was one of them. And the things that came out of this girl's mouth, we were all in tears, Yeah, in mm -hmm. tears. Um, she, I mean, the stuff that she said was so profound and just so powerful. And it's like, you don't realize how much these kids nowadays are exposed to yeah. compared to when we were kids because of Oops. electronic devices, because of social media, like they know so much more than we did. And, um, but they're just, they're, they're so in tune and they're so smart. And she came out of there just like, literally she sparkled all, she the, time. Sparkles all the time. She found her spark in the arts. She joined her her dance club at school. She's doing music. She's doing so much. And she is just such a, like an authentic version of herself, like more authentic version of herself now. Yeah. And we're so proud. And she's, you know, been in LIT for years and um, she's incredible. So she's one of one of the yeah, and of. one one of many. Um, there are there's a group that uh, of LIT's leaders and trainings that um, they've worked with FITM, they've worked with LAMP, um, which is a a music organization as well. Um, but there's one kid, Micah. He goes by Q. Um, he I remember meeting him a few years ago at camp and he had the like first a, year, yeah. the first year and he had a little notebook and stuff like that. And he went and he learned how to write a song. And now he's like in a band, he's producing his own music. I mean, the stuff that I hear him and his whole life's trajectory changed completely. He found his spark, he became creative. And like, maybe you aren't gonna be a producer or a dancer or a graphic or designer or whatever, but you are creative and you find your confidence and you're sparking your purpose. I think there's a lot of young people that are walking around looking for their purpose, you know, their mm -hmm. value. Um, and they're seeing a lot of it online and they're like, well, where's, where's mine? How can I find mine? And so Micah is just an incredible musician now. And we do a program year, year round that um, they're, they learn how to produce songs and write songs and the music that comes out. I'm like, maybe in three years, I'll be cutting one of your tracks for sure. Oh, I mean, they're so good. I, I love that. I, I love that the both instances that you're speaking to just reflect on the importance of self-exploration and self-expression. Like they're able, you know, you don't like he's doing music, he's doing all kinds of things in music, and you know, she's in and her she's participating in her local school and she's doing all those kind of things. And granted, you never know what those where they'll eventually will end up at or lead to. But being able to express themselves through the arts and through these different ways, it's going to do so much for their confidence, for their life. When they meet people who were in the situation before they went to the camp, now they can have an impact and just that Lego positive Lego effect that can keep happening just from those moments. Like it's, yeah, you know, I think you know all the statistics about anxiety and depression in um, young females and in teens and middle school, and you know people have um, really challenging thoughts and thought patterns. And we hear about that when they come to uh, camp and their whole uh, mind, mind frame switches after that. Like people have these thoughts, these um, negative thoughts, and then it switches because they find their spark. And, and I have dealt with uh, anxiety and depression a lot in the past before. And so I know that that is a struggle. Mental health is, a, is an opportunity really. Um, and I think that giving well what for one I think that when we have our camp in nature they have no devices and these kids are sixth seventh and eighth graders they've never been in nature with no devices they've never had that experience they're like what is the sound of the cicadas what is the sound of the waves like 
they're connecting literally with other people without something in their hand and it's authentic they're they're creating those core memories um and their whole like their whole mind changes yeah. it's amazing to see their their the transformation yes. yeah in such a short amount of time too it's incredible what you can do i love it i love it now you know i don't want to i could sit here and talk about this all day i really i truly honestly could but i want to make sure i respect y'all's time as well so i want to leave us off here asking one more question Having done so much work again in such a short period of time, such a bright future for the Firework Foundation in general, I'm about let's know kind of going into this next year, going into 2024, what are the plans to, you know, strengthen the mission of the Firework Foundation and to, you know, continue those, those um, impactful community events and things like that? Like, what are the plans for next year for Firework Foundation? Well, our mission statement is literally to empower children from underserved communities by igniting their light through the arts, because that's what changed for me. I started playing, I started singing at nine, playing guitar at 13, and the course of my life changed forever. And we want to do that and bring um, those programs to kids in nature. Um, but we are looking forward uh, to the, the very near future to doing scholarship programs with different arts colleges for our leaders and trainings, um, which are probably about, 20 to 30 to 40 kids now um, that have identified that that's that's what they want to do in life and so that's one of the things that we're doing in the very near future and then hopefully so we've been able to utilize incredible camps um, on Catalina Island which has been very California super cool uh, Lake Arrowhead and this summer we get to utilize um one up in the LA mountain yeah one up in the LA mountains and then look, I'm, I'm hoping in the near future that we get to have a, our own camp in Santa Barbara County. That's like my hometown. I talk about that, like it's right outside your door. And so hopefully that'll be happening in the near future. We'll plant our firework flag here. I love that. I love that. I have to mention too, that we're also, you know, as part of community voices, you know, we're part of continue, you know, continue that community effort. We'll also be donating to that cause to make sure that we continue to help support and, you know, ignite that, that flag that Firework Foundation does. So, you know, hopefully also in the future, going into 2024, there's some moments where we can continue helping as we are today. So once again, thank you for your work and everything that y'all do. We, it's so much appreciated. Thank yeah. you, Devin. And thank you to JD Sports. And we appreciate you guys highlighting our cause. Um, again, like, you know, this is what I hope really lives on and I hope it has a ripple effect and I hope to see real um, leaders in communities come out, come out of this program. I love it. And I, and I know it's going to happen. So I, that's, that's, that hope is already happening. So I definitely can see it and hear it. So thank y'all again. Uh, any last words before we kind of wrap things up about Firework Foundation or anything else or where they can find you? Oh, just check us out on fireworkfoundation.org. Um, and our handle on Instagram is at Firework Foundation. Um, and yeah, hit that follow button on all accounts and check us out. We'll be posting from our pickleball tournament and um, we're going to camp next May. That's yeah. our next one on the calendar. Yeah. So I'll be there. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, thank y'all again for joining us. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode of Community Voices. And until next time, take care. God bless. Thank you. Thanks, Devin.